Hello and welcome to the Cowboy for Game at Yu-Gi-Oh! podcast. I'm your host Jake. Today I'm joined by Brag from Braggio. Hello. And Ben from Norman TCG. Hello. How was our week in Yu-Gi-Oh? I'm going to start with Brag because I'm excited for it. Oh, oh why? Uh, <clears throat> played Chimera Illusions at Locals. Went, went to Locals. One, three. <laughs> it's okay, it's a learning, it's a learning curve. Everything's well. fine. I mean, there's a couple of plays I could have optimally done, but for the most part, the deck's ceiling is so low. Uh, I don't use Guardian Chimera enough, probably. Like, like, I could just force stuff, but also I felt like committing to that would then waste resources, and then opponents can just swing over Guardian anyway, because Polly's just, you know, wherever Polly has to be in the deck. Um, yeah, it was, it, was a good, it was a good day. It was, it was good just getting amongst it. I really like the deck. I enjoy it. It's fun to play. It just... It's not good. Well, it's not great. It's good. With a bit more practice, I'm sure it'll be fine. Yeah. Um, <laughs> more, more illusion, more of the searcher. Like, so I'm bricking less, obviously, would improve it, but oh, I don't know. No, it'll be fine. And I didn't pull anything. That happens. Yeah. Ben. Uh, Ben's locals. What happened on Tuesday? You always forget Tuesday. Yeah, just start taking notes. It's just been so long ago, and I just didn't care about it. Oh, no, I played Pearly. You did play Pearly. I came second. You did. Um, that was fine, considering I hadn't played Pearly in nine months. Um, Funnily enough, fun. it doesn't change that much. Uh, well, <laughs> there's a lot of different interactions now. Like the ability, just the ability to search the trap changes the whole way you play the deck. Um, set the trap too, because you didn't yeah. realize. Yeah, I didn't even know it's set. I just thought it added. Um, so that was fine. Uh, my day just did it effectively was like make big cat. Can you out big cat? Yes. Next game. No, I win. Good on me. Um, so that was that. Uh, then today I played uh, the dragons. The new dragons. Tempai. Uh, that was fun. Um, took a little bit of like learning and figuring out like where I should kind of go and what I should do. Because it's all good and well to do test hands with that deck. But a lot of it is a case of like how you can stop your opponent and then what you can kind of go into after that. Uh, went X1. Came second again. Uh, was, yeah, in the finals, the deck finally shit the bed. So I was like, okay, awesome. Um, that and Chad just opened up insane. Yeah. So, like, he wins die roll, he goes first. I'm like, that's fine by me. I draw five cards. Oh, there's no hand traps here. Oh. And then he's main decking the out to ten pie dragons, and I was like, <laughs> sick. <laughs> awesome. Uh, so I just lost that one. And then game two, I was like, I will go second. Saw one hand trap and he activates a brand infusion. So I'm like, and now I have to use my hand trap. I can't stop any of the rest of the deck. Um, so that was fun. Uh, will I continue playing the deck? Yes. Harry on branded. <clears throat> so yes. new, new floodgate one. You have to set the spells. I'm like, oh, I should be right. I have cosmic, the DVLs, and SP. Yep. Three spell and traps. Should be right. No. So even after stopping three, played through three negates and a banish. Oh. Branded, I tells you. And yeah. it doesn't even do it consistently. That's what makes it mad. Like, they just can't use their branded opening and branded in red. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and yeah, and locked out of that still. Nothing. Branded! Yeah. They do be doing things. Except what, it's like, why can't they brick against me? The hands that you whinge about, why can't they draw that against me? Yeah, because apparently they're reserved for me and me only. Yeah. Only I may brick with branded. How was your week then? Uh, Bricky. Uh, <laughs> didn't play Brandy though. Um, so, uh, we should have Tues Brandy. Yeah. Uh, Tuesday, I was still on uh, Invoked. Uh, I will get a profile out. It has been filmed, uh, but uh, Dropbox on your phone is garbage. Uh, oh, top tip. That off, yeah. I would like to point out. Yeah, I would like to point out. Last week, you recorded the profile and then left while I was editing the podcast. And I was yes. like, wasn't I supposed to edit this deck profile? <laughs> Well, I didn't want to, like, force it upon you, like, being the... Yeah, I don't know. In, in my mind, I was like, you've yes. got... Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's lots, lots, lots of content. Lots of um, but anyway, uh, so we're still playing that on Tuesday. It was doing fine. Um, my one loss of the night was against Kashtira because in Game 3, I opened all three Rev Synchrons and nothing else. Uh, not ideal. Um, my loss then, was to also Kashtira. Mm, yeah. Because you opened uh, Shifter, and I was like, that's okay. I can play around Shifter. As long as I can keep my resource game going, and then I ate Imperm and Imperm, and I was like, Yep. I now have literally no cards left in hand and two level ones on my board. 
he he actually, he actually <laughs> impermed impermed someone. I'm like, damn, must be nice. Imperm's good. Do be pretty nice. Um, so then today, uh, after getting, I'd say, 98% of the cards that I need, I decided to play Tier Elements Light Sworn. Uh, the issue with that is that I... The issue with that is you're playing this guy. No, that guy's good. Go off. That, no, that guy's good, if you open well enough. Uh, the issue with me opening well enough is that I just slapped uh, 60 uh, quote-unquote mill cards into a pile and hoped for the best. No, no, no. Not the most conducive way of building Ooh. decks. Uh, so that didn't really work out. Like, decks still, when it opened well, it was great. So I just need to do more of that. Yeah. Uh, so... Yeah. I should do more of that as well. Yeah. So I will get to that. Um, but yeah, Garoth is actually busted. So he doesn't summon himself for free. Yeah, that's fine. You've got so much other shit that summons itself for free. You don't need another free summon. It doesn't feel win more. Hmm? Doesn't it feel a little bit win more. No, like to a point I get what you mean, but it also helps a lot with your card advantage because the deck is so mill centric, you lose a lot of hand stuff. Hmm. So then uh, you're sort of left wishing that you had more on the next turn. Yeah, I get you, but no. And plus that's just another name at the end of the day. Yeah, it being another name considering you've cut so many other names. You playing this guy? Yeah. Yeah, yeah oh, he's yeah. in there. I nearly ashed that as well. I also would have cut this. Again, he's just another target. You play these shredded abs, and then three other cards that aren't on this art. Is Felice not on there? Poor Aaron. Felice doesn't come oh, out God, for another yeah. three years. Yeah, no. Nah. Damn. Four we got, years. We got Old Minerva, Jane. Yeah. Jane's bad. Celeste's bad. High kick girl. I was nearly going to play uh, Small Gina. Minerva. Yeah. Just not playing not, Ryko. Just middle. Are you playing Lila? No, that did cross my mind though, just to Luminar? be like, uh, bait out a floodgate. Yeah, are you playing Luminar? No. You're playing Luf Gary, but no Luminar. Luminar's great. Four. Well, three. three. Discard. Summon. Yeah, but it doesn't trigger anything. And the best one at all. You discard fucking Old Mate. Oh yeah, Old Mate. Old Mate Mally that you kept drawing. I'm good. I think I'm going to cut Mally. Yeah, he milled three. It was funny. Um, and then the most of all, the Light Sworn Dragon that I forget his name. This is Jeff. Yeah, I mm. think it's close to Jeff. Jeff it, might the be, it, it might be Jeff with a G, because I always mix up with Gareth. My name is Gif. It's not Gwiganol, though. It's close. But anyway, um, had fun today. Still went X1? Fun. X2. Well, you're, X2. Definitely, you're definitely one. I don't know, but I've, at this exact moment, realised that I spent a bunch of money at locals today that I didn't need to spend, because I would have had store credit. That's alright. Damn. That money is there for later. Yeah. Not for entry, that. You can't do that. Um, Damn. Then, Master Duel, been playing the Dual Triangle. I moved oh over to Synchros God. just for something different. Uh, Sword Soul, just doing basic shit. Just trying to earn gems. I'm also putting Tier Element back together because I keep seeing other people do it and it goes off and then like I get FOMO because I'm like, I stopped playing Tier because I thought it'd be bad, but everyone else is going really well. <laughs> I wanted to and then I realised I would pay money not to play this event so if i ever if i'm ever short three thousand gems i will pay the money would you not just play event. pearly or exit or nine thousand gems hmm? would you not just play pearly or exit i killed them all yeah so i had scrapped all that shit why y'all scrapping stuff i was playing the synchro well, yeah. so in my like i've brought this I up before, scrap scraps, but in but... <laughs> master duel you eat everything the second you don't need it in no. real game you almost have a timeline of your entire time in Yu-Gi-Oh because you never saw anything. and other papers yeah <laughs> Speaking of timeline and Yu-Gi-Oh, like when I was going through all the bulk recently, I started finding cards from like OTS Pack Two, and yeah. I was like, I remember when this was good. Oh, this this OTS packs from six years ago, seven years ago, eight years ago. Fuck. The fact is not a turbo pack is wild. You need some astral packs. I was gonna say, don't even start on the astral packs. Um, remember when we were like. It can't go past OTS 8. I wonder what they're going to call it next. Oh, yeah. Here we are at OTS 25. <laughs> Wait, is it 25? We're, I think 25 is the one been we're about to get, yeah. Wait, we're getting 25. I didn't know. Yeah, 25 well, of course is, we are. is over your head. Are we? Well, yeah. 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 This is the second year of the 25th anniversary. Of course we're getting OTS 25. Oh, OTS 25 and the 25. Wait, what OTS do we get today? 24 or 23? 20, 24. Oh, we actually got 24. We finally got it last week. Yeah, because I got shiny unchained cards. Yeah. Oh, and that's why you liked it. Yeah, cool. That makes sense why you wanted it. I got my yeah. second sleepy memory of Harry. Thanks, Harry. 
So, moving on to some news. We start with the Master Duel. So, uh, a couple of days ago, they announced their newest ban list. Did we discuss this on the last pod? I can't remember no. if we did. No. So, uh, semi limited. Ah, we, yes. Oh, sorry. Limited yep. first. Uh, Super Heavy Samurai Soul Piercer. Yes. Mm-hmm. Bring down that consistency. Yes. Still infinitely searchable. <laughs> yes. But you can't do it twice. People Except s- for when you reborn it from grave and do it again. Yeah, off the link that does the thing. Yeah. I, I haven't played Ladder nearly enough. Is it. People still getting around. Well, people were still getting around with it. Interesting. Yeah, uh, but if you maxi them, they pass. Yes. <laughs> they stop playing. Yes. Uh, Semi limited though. We have Snake Eyes, Ash, and Wanted Sinful uh, something. Seeker of the Sinful Spoils. That one. I put the sinful in the wrong spot. Sinful. Sinful. Sinful Spoil Seeker. Um. Yeah. Good. Eh, I don't know if it's good. Got to start it's, somewhere. It's mastered. <laughs> They will just semi-limit things, and then they'll limit things, yep. and then they'll ban things. It'll be they'll, they'll limit them next month, and then then we'll see where we go after that. Hmm. Uh, beyond that, though, we have the new dual pass having started a couple of days ago as well. Um, so yeah, same deal as usual. You get effectively the same amount of uh, gems back as what you spent. Yes. And as some is other tradition. Stuff. Yeah. Plus some UR points and all that kind Plus of stuff. Plus a link Karibo. If we could get a uh, if we could get a format of goat again during this dual pass, it'd be appreciated. Thank that you. would be nice. Yes, please, well, Konami, please. We'll move on to what the current event is uh, in just a moment. Yep. Uh, so as well as the uh, not, link Karibo uh, mate that Ben mentioned, you also get a uh, baby. Uh, what's his fuck? I can't remember his name. Visus. Yeah, baby, baby Visus. Visus. Yeah, Visus. Chibi Visus. Visus Ghibli. Uh, you get a navy icon frame. It's a lovely colour. Starfrost colour. Um, it's just navy. It's the colour uh, of Starfrost. And then you get a Chimera, Chimera. background as well. Oh, cool. Yeah. Well, so that's, that the, that's the... No, that's the Spoilers other one. Spoilers for later news. That's the other one. That's it? the second fusion. Yeah, yeah. Which um, I won a game with today. You did, I saw that. Yeah. <laughs> you summoned Gazelle, the King of Mythical Beasts? Oh, a couple times, yeah. Thank you. Um, Not the real one, though. Huh. Yeah, Flying King or whatever it is. Uh, yeah, that one, which I realised attacking over that... I, mean, I had damage, but I probably shouldn't have gone. Oh yeah, as quick because it would have, it would have been like one hundred over damage. Like I just had it. <laughs> you just rushed in, assuming that it. Yeah, all I was okay. like, oh yeah, that's eighteen hundred. Uh, uh, uh. I like, almost oh, cheated against Jordan today. <gasps> I activated Shut prosperity and started swinging, and we like calculated it full damage, and then like we both scooped. I showed him that I had a handful of hand traps, and I was like, oh wait, I haven't. You were doing to half I haven't damage. done full lethal yet. Anyway, these are the hand traps that you're playing through next turn. <laughs> <laughs> GL, hi Jeff. Uh, yeah, so that's uh, one thing on Master Duel. We also get some other updates. Uh, so we get some more accessories. We get a flower cardian sleeve. Looks quite nice. That's a throwback. Although I've never noticed that it has these weird arms on it, on one of the flower cardians. How do you think they attack? They're just like a shield. They just boop. If there's any listeners here from the Flower Cardian era, please leave a comment. Activate Flower Stack. Wouldn't that just be Lockman? Oh, he doesn't listen to this, does he? No. That's Sip. Oh, yeah, no, Sip. I'm, I'm talking about the... Oh, the, the OG Flower yeah. Cardians back when it didn't actually properly work. Yeah. But your Synchro is actually matted. Yeah. Mm. I'm curious. Uh, we also get the uh, Feet Ash Blossom icon. The feet on and the oh, feet. with no feet in it. Yeah, Imagine if it was just cropped to the feet. <laughs> just feet. <laughs> I expected toes in the bottom corner. We also get a deluxe uh, icon surround of the oh, uh, yeah. flurry of cherry blossoms uh, and this. the cherry blossoms anime through. I'm all we got this because it's cherry blossom season. It is spring. Yes. Correct, yes. Uh, it's quite nice. It's only 60 gems too, so practically a bargain. Yeah, I'm probably going to get Although, those. Although it makes me angry when I see people that have the ash in the cherry icon surround because it's feet ash and it makes me angry and then they play the feet ash and it like has the animation of feet ash negating your shit i hate it i didn't know that but you can't craft them you have to pull them yeah yes and i don't think that pack exists anymore no later but no i i just didn't want to be that person considering ash is also my mate Mm. Uh, it's not about the feet i swear i just like ash ash is cool I just don't like the feet. I don't want to fuck it. because it's good. <laughs> uh, we have our newest uh, extreme... Like yearly declaration. <laughs> <laughs> we have the newest uh, extreme duel uh, coming mm-hmm. out for the next three days. Actually, by the time that you guys are listening to this, it's probably already over. 
this one, uh, rather than giving us Nibiru in our opening hand, puts Skill Drain directly on the board for both yes. players. <laughs> Not even set. So you can't even be like, oh, chain Skill Drain. Both of them are active on the board. Is um, both of them. Hey, how do you get around both of them? Uh, so the way that one of my opponents decided to play around both of them uh, was use double cyclone. Yeah. <laughs> Pop a spell and trap you control and a spell and trap your yep. opponent controls. Twin and then just did... just one on the field? Hmm? Is twin twisters one on the field? Two on the field. Two so on, you can you twin twisters. Card. Double cyclone's free. Okay. Yeah. Um, then I think he proceeded to do full um, like <laughs> VW combo. Ah. Uh, how I decided to play it, and it was a terrible idea, but it was fun. Um, I just decided to play Metaphys Control and just like use the field spell to normal summon a big one, and then the trap would start banishing shit off their board. Yeah, I just put like, I don't know, cast in a deck. <laughs> there is that. Did Here's my miss- biggest attack monsters that summon for free. Can you beat them? Do you miss any Cleese? No, I didn't verse any Cleese actually. Yeah, I wonder how they. Although, I, being that it was skill drain centric, I literally just got my three, got my pack, and fucked off that. <laughs> No, it's, it's not worth crafting the Klees just to do that. No, no, you'd have to go in there with Klees, and I think it's a very small player base. I miss them. I don't. Oh, D-Bulls, it's good against Pendulums as well. Yeah, they can't activate pen scales. Oh, that's cringe. You're not playing Pendulum, which means it's good. I know, but it's still cringe that there's just another card that's like, ha <laughs> sucked in Pendulum. You thought anti spell to one would save you? That <laughs> idiot. No. Uh, anyway, pen something here. And his spell is now a woman. Hmm? That's that's the end goal. They they need. Oh, they, they're just they turning looked, floodgates yeah, they, into whammoth. Yeah, yeah. They looked yeah. at any spell and went, oh, "This isn't a waifu." All right. Limit it. <laughs> Print a waifu. Summon limit waifu when. Oh Christ. Um. So uh, I think that exists. We yeah, all I think so too. <laughs> I know you guys definitely finished it. So I know you're very excited to yep. know that there's more levels to the master dual proficiency test. Oh yes. Can we still do the originals? Yeah, oh, they're cool. still there. Yeah, I thought I, I thought I came across the menu and I hastily closed it. Uh, so there's new five levels that have been added. Um, I completed one of the challenges and then went, oh, this was a thing? Ignore. <laughs> uh, so the rewards uh, that you earn oh. through it, uh, you get the uh, level nine Idli? nightmare, Idli, yes. Uh, and you get a D hero base. <laughs> it's D <D-time>. time. <laughs> We also get some packs. Uh, wings that span the sky, Florunderies and uh, what's the S archetype birds? Samorg. Samorg. That's the word you're looking for? Yes, yes it is. Uh, so Flunderies and Samorg get their own pack. Samorg um, wings still legal. So, so you've shown how you can play, you know how to play Yu-Gi-Oh. Here's cards that ignore how to play Yu-Gi-Oh. <laughs> oh God, I don't like the Flunderies is getting its own pack. Ooh. Then we also get Raging God of the Sea. Uh, so this has uh, notably Zelantis uh, and some uh, of the fish exes, as well as the Umi control type cards. Yes. Yes. Cool. Yes. I'm considering good. selling those in real life. I haven't touched those cards in ages. It's probably a good thing you did. It's not mm. not a conducive way to play. It's just more the water searcher is the expensive card, and what are they print cards that are searchable? We are getting a water set soon. Yeah, but surely we're getting a reprint of it soon. Yeah, that's fine. No, I like the original print. Fish sonar. Oh. Oh. oh, maybe you do want to keep that because uh, soon it'll be the year of water. That's oh. what I just said. I, I wasn't listening. <laughs> the, you, you responded to what I said with, yeah, but surely it'll get reprinted. Boom. Yeah, but I only listen to bits. I, don't know. I tune in and out of what you say. Uh, moving on. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so last week I mentioned that there was a hand trap uh, in the more, more literal sense that hadn't been fully translated. We do now yeah. know what it is and what it does. Uh, so it's called Dominus Purge. Uh, so you can only activate one of it per turn, so it's a little worse than Imperm in that respect. Mm-hmm. Uh, if your opponent controls a card, you can activate it from hand. Uh, when a card or effect is activated, it includes the effect that adds a card or cards from the deck to the hand. For the rest of the duel after this card is activated, you can't activate dark, water or fire monster effects. Also negate the activated effect, and if you have a trap in your graveyard, destroy that card. This trap is called an ashy hand floppy. Ashy hand floppy or yeah. floppy? Floppy. Floppy? It's floppy because it's shit. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. Yeah, there's like, little no It blocks this. you from using ashes for the yeah. rest of the duel. Yes, I think that's the intention. 
I like that it's for the rest though. So you could ash something and then do this, and it's like, haha. Oh yeah, I true. Think, now I'm gonna kill you with lights and winds. I think I theorized this last week, but do you reckon Konami is teeing us up to ban all the hand traps and be like, here are these worse ones, play with these instead? I mean, it could be a thing. Because, like, all of the good hand traps effectively are in those three types, other than Mourner. Not even then. Uh, yeah, so I wonder if they looked in, whoever designed this looked in the pipeline and went, oh, well, that's year water next year. So, we'll get on top of that. And fire's good at the moment, and dark's well, dark. Well, the other thing yeah. is, too, what they could do is they do this one, and oh, then they've got well. another one that's like uh, you're locked out of light, wind, and earth. By stopping something else. Yeah. Just a theory. There'll be someone from Grave and they'll lock you out of white light when earth. Because then you can't bell when you just use the card that does the bell effect. Buy your ghost ogres. Oh, bell's earth, isn't it? Yep. Yeah. So here's the other question, circling back to what you said, because I listened this time. If they what? do decide to go through and ban all the hand traps, where do you draw the line of what's considered a hand trap? I think you'd just consider, like, the ones that have frequently come into the format. You'd probably stretch it as far as to ban Valor and Droll. Yeah. But, yeah. I think you go, like, Valor, Droll, Imperm. Of course, Maxi's already banned. You hit Ash. Banned for us. Yeah. You hit all of them. And then you're like, you get Jelly Hand Trappy and oh, Ashy Hand Trappy. Hand -trappy. Jelly is so... I love I was saying the ban. I love how fair it is. It's very fair. It's just so fair. I'm sure I'm going to hate it. But it feels fair. Yeah. I just like the idea, like, we will probably know more about it in the coming weeks, but it seems to be an entire archetype. Where is your microphone? Somewhere. Okay. It should be Blending fine. Blending with the stripes. Yes. Yes. I'm sure it'll all be fine. I'm sure it'll all be fine. And now the audio is definitely now different on synced. Lucky we're recording the audio in 4K. Or do you want me to put it back? No, it's fine. Okay. Uh, so, also coming out in... Um, Infinite Forbidden, is the first Illusion Link monster, as far as I'm aware. Yep. So this one is called uh, Top Hat Hair, the Silhouette Magician. Uh, so generic, two effect monsters. Woo! Uh, if this card is Link Summoned, set oh, one no, continuous trap around. directly from your deck that has an effect that special summons itself as a monster. Also, oh. cannot be used as Link material this turn. Uh, if this card battles a monster, not it can be destroyed by that battle. Search the uh, Symbroil. And that new zombie on it says there's lots of stuff. Yeah, but that one does damage to your opponent. So it's hmm? paleo. Uh, if this card is uh, in... Speak continuous. Uh, if a card or cards is in the spell and trap zone, is special summoned to the monster zone, target one spell trap your opponent controls to destroy it. Okay. So it says continuous trap that becomes a monster. Yes. yes. Oh, I thought it said any trap It's an Eldritch Link. Yeah. It is an Eldritch Link. Is it generic for the Link materials? Two effect monsters. Eldritch Link. Um, Wait. Are those traps considered effect monsters? Or? It, does, uh, it just, it just sum, sums itself as a monster. It doesn't need to be an effect monster. No, I mean like... No, no, they're considered traps. That summons themselves as monsters. Yeah, okay, that's fine. That's fine. Uh, on that note, that the new trap's pretty good though. Yes, which I'm about to read. Yeah. Uh, which is Silhouette. Uh, special summon this card as an effect monster. Illusion Dark, level 4, 1500, 600. Uh, with these effects, it is still a trap. Uh, if it's special summon, target face up cards your opponent controls up to a number of illusion monsters you control. Negate their effects until the end of this turn. If this card battles a monster, nothing can be destroyed by battle. Yeah. yeah, so it's a two card negate for a thingy. Putting an illusion on board that confused with. Love two it. negates, and then also uh, triggers the link to, to destroy spells and traps, if there are any. Yeah, more stuff to go first. Woohoo. Conk uh, pop. Hmm? Conk pop. Can I use the slime trap? You could do that. Wonder it's if. The tribute slime? Yeah. Summon Exodia. Wing Dragon of Rat? Either or. Obelisk. Does Slimer. Obelisk have any. I mean, you mean Asylus. The not. The not good uh, snake eyes counter. Yes. Slifer. Anyway. So um, we were theorizing Slifer because it pops everything with a thousand eyes. I see. Uh, <laughs> continuing on the theme of summoning uh, traps as monsters, we get the continuous spell uh, BBS, uh, B Back Sight. 
Uh, each time an effect or card other than itself is activated, place an access counter on the card, maximum 10. Uh, monsters on your field get 100 attacks for each access ca counter on this card. Uh, if an access counter is placed on this card and the number of access counters reaches 10, return this card to your hand. And if you do, set a continuous trap directly from your deck that has an effect to special summon itself as a monster. Also, the set card can be activated at the same turn it was set. Hear me out. I've just had a real an idea of a card design that they need to release. What's that? So they need like a trap card that's like counts your opponent's special summons, and then when it hits 10, you can send all cards from your hand, opponent's field and hand to the graveyard. So just bonkers Nibiru. Well, it's ten summons, and it's a trap card. So uh, would you like to say like it has to be face up, accumulating counters? So you know it's there. Yeah, sure. Printed I mean, Jerome, giving you they great did ideas. They just take away summon limits, so I feel like we're not getting that for it's a while. It's ten summons. Yeah, but most decks can do ten summons. Tower of Babel times three. But the uh, purpose of this card is seemingly to uh, set up your finished, which was a trap monster from a while ago that, like, if there's 10 activated effects, it summons itself, and then it's an Omni Negate um, and does quite a bit from memory. I just can't remember exactly what it is. Yeah. It's pretty good. Now I just want my card that I've just come up with. I mean, your card and your finished are very similar. Yeah, they're all in the same ar archetype. This one's called Your Scent. <laughs> yeah, card your, own. your card naming techniques need work. No, well, so do they. Yeah, it works. Works. Yeah, it works. You don't like BBS? You use your scent, BBS. and then if your opponent keeps playing, you, you'll finish them. Next card coming out in the Infinite Forbidden is the newest support for Centurion. They get a new Ooh. level 4 tuner. It's Yay. a dragon. Uh, if it's normal special summon, you have an Emblema card and a Centurion card in your graveyard. Draw a card, and you can't special summon uh, it for the rest of the turn. Oh, I thought you were going to say cards other than Centurion. Yeah, I was like, that'd be I was awful. like, man, you skip this. You can stop reading uh, if, it, if this card you control would be used as Synchro Material, you can treat it as a non-tuner. Uh, and then during the main phase, if it's a trap, summon it. Uh, they also get a new trap. Banish a face-up Centurion monster card from your spell and trap zone, and then target one card your opponent controls and banish it. Uh, if this set card is destroyed or banished by an opponent's activated effect, place two Centurion monsters with different names from your hand deck or graveyard, or banishment face up in your spell and trap zone. Uh, I mean, your opponent's probably not going to do that no. more than once. <laughs> One lightning storm and they're like, mm -mm, Yeah, I, never I think I would rather use my spell and trap destruction on the cards I know of theirs that I, I can counter. If the field spell that you, their entire deck revolves around. Yeah. If, if you like mass board wipe... Their spell and traps, like, yes, they, this resolves, but they lose the ability to quick synchro. Well, you can't mass board wipe Centurion while they have stuff in the back row. Oh, is it because you've been turn skipped? Well, <laughs> that's partly it, but also while there's monsters on the board, the field spell can't be destroyed by anything. Oh, okay. That's why Cosmic Good Cut. Yes. Anyway, Playing you've been turn skipped. We continue. But you haven't. You've opened Cosmic in a perfect world. And then lastly, uh, for announcements of Infinite Forbidden, we get some new random cards. Uh, we get Broomy, uh, level 2 light spellcaster. Uh, reveal this card and one other monster card in your hand. You can't special summon from the extra deck, nor declare attacks with monsters for the rest of the turn except synchros. Special summon the revealed monster, and if you do, banish the other one. Uh, the fact that there's no restriction on what the other one has to be is kind of bonkers, because you can just like reveal a floodgate monster, or yes. like some ridiculous card, and just send this useless other thing to the bit. Yeah, it banishes the other one, yeah? Huh? Banishes the other one? Yes, it banishes, banishes the other. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you banish Blast with the Dragon Rulers. <gasps> and then hope that you can get to a Sync 9 with your level 2 Light Spellcaster Tuner. Well, then you add the Pydra. <gasps> yes. Okay. Broomy is a Fire Dragon support confirmed. confirmed. Um, Put Blast into 3, please. It'll make my life so much easier. New Thank Tuner. Uh, it should always be a 3. <laughs> Menkamuri, level 1 Earth Winged Beast Tuner. Uh, up to thrice per turn, if your opponent normal special summons a monster, target one of them, toss a coin. If it's heads, change that monster to face up attack. If it's tails, change it to face down defense. Uh, and then if a monster is flipped face up or face down uh, while this monster is on the field, target one of them, change it to face up attack or face down defense. <laughs> uh, 
<laughs> no, you get back down. <laughs> no, come back up. No, get down. <laughs> I'm very surprised that we still haven't. That we're still getting infinite forbidden new cards. Well, this is the this is this the final. This is literally it. it. Yeah. But like for them, at I least feel we like get that Exodia announcement was like three months. ago. It feels so yeah. long ago. Oh hey. yeah, maybe because they they jumped the gun for um the that better be Hans getting a try. Fuck that. Um. Yeah, they had like a heap yeah. of announcements. That, yeah. That, that, yeah, that video at the start was probably a little bit earlier than their normal release schedule. Yeah. So, yeah. It just feels like it's Yeah, because we also so got... Long. was It It was Light Sworn in that same thing, right? Yes. Yeah. yeah. God, that was so long ago. Wait, no, 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 no. No, Light Sworn was a separate video. Was it? it? I think they must be getting in the swing of doing these announcements every three months. Of being like, here is the, the main core of what the next set is going to be. I mean, I rate it. It's just like the six eight year cards were not good enough to carry the hype for three months. No, they weren't. The Light Swan cards good enough to carry the hype for three months. The Exodia cards, no. No. Uh, and then we get another monster, uh, May Maliapard, uh, level two light beast, not a tuner, Sag. Uh, if this is the only card in your hand, special summon it. If this card is special summon by its effect, its attack becomes twenty five until the end of the opponent's turn. Uh, if this card battles an opponent's monster, wait, twenty five. Or 2,500? 2,500. Okay, I was like, Imagine. that's pretty cool. They're going low. Well, it starts with 100. Uh, and then yeah. if this card battles an opponent's monster, you take any damage that would have been taken instead. If you take damage from a battle involving this card, change its attack to zero. Then if you have 2,000 life points or less, its attack becomes 5,000. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Seems very situational. And then a, an equip spell, Trap Gatherer. Uh, they should... I have another hypothetical card. You should print a card that's on summon its attack goes to 25. Uh, it can attack all your opponent's monsters if they're able. Um, and it gains attack equal to the amount of damage you take whenever it attacks an opponent's monster. I feel like there's a card that does similar... I should be in R and D, guys. Also, why are you so focused on random shit? Because we're announcing, we're reading random shit cards, so I'm coming up with better cards. Just, just, just reading the news. <laughs> you can. They should print scrap. You win scrap, and then I summon scrap monster. I win the game. Yeah. Yeah. Print that. Ash. Oh. Make <laughs> <laughs> it a level twelve that requires four. Triggers. Still does the imperm. It's like. Oh. Oh, well. Yeah, it's not like an Exodia win con, it just happens, it's like, activate effect to win. Uh, chain Imper. <laughs> Damn. Hey, if this effect's negated, yeah. scoop. <laughs> uh, so, uh, Equip Monster gains 400 attack for each trap in your graveyard. Uh, after damage card, when the Equip Monster destroys an opponent's monster by battle, inflicts damage to them. Uh, send this card to the graveyard, set one trap from your graveyard. Uh, for face-up trap or traps you control will be destroyed by a uh, card effect, banish this card you control instead. The fact that it's controlled instead is a bit cringe. Okay, new scrap card. <laughs> Christ. It's called Scrap Grenade. Uh, it's on summon uh, for cost, shuffles back all cards in your grave, banished, hand and on the field, except for it. On resolution, you win the duel. <laughs> yeah. So you literally put away all of your protection except for that one card, and then you win the duel. So it's just grass for scraps. So it puts it all back. But you have to have stuff in grave to be able to do that, right? Because you need nah, to be able to nah, shuffle nah. back for cost. You have to. Sh you can't have both, Ben. You can't shuffle back for cost and then not have anything in then graveyard. You need to have a card in each area because it shuffles back from hand, field, grave, and banish. Yeah, I don't know. It, if five do jars, and if it survives, it wins the game. <laughs> then your deck is also conveniently shuffled for next game. Well, <laughs> oh, perfect. <laughs> Still better than mine, master. Uh. Next bit of news. Uh, so there was brief panic earlier in the week uh, because the <laughs> Konami website updated to say that uh, Battles of Legend, uh, the release date of 20th of June, was now to be announced uh, only for the European uh, regions. Uh, so us and the Europeans were all in a panic. Uh, turns out it's just a glitch on their website. So everything's fine. Still set to release on the 20th of June. Uh, Kurt almost had a heart attack. So Oh, yeah, because of his... Uh, ice Barriers. Yeah. He just wants that level 2 Ice Barrier. Never mind the Infernoids that, assuming that the Snake Eye support stays live, is going to be fucking bonkers. Uh, but yeah, Say Ice Jakes. like it's not going to... We're not getting a ban list before this releases. Would we not? Oh, no. Huge. 
You don't, you don't reckon until it's September? It's in June. It says yeah, in June. Is oh. three months. Is this usually a July From the band list. It's also Crazy. the 20th of June. Yeah, which is less than two months away. Yeah, so we yeah but we... Early. It was a month ago. We will have at least have two yeah. weeks of this unchecked. Unchecked. I mean, two weeks I'd suffer through, but, like, after that I'd be like, where's the fucking band list? <laughs> band list on the 4th of July. All the 1st of weeks. July. <laughs> no, 4th. They all go up in fireworks. Something, something, God USA. save the queen. <laughs> uh, R.I.P. Liz. That's how that song goes. Damn, Lizzie. Uh, so, uh, over the course of this weekend, we also had uh, YCS Japan. Um, so, so yeah. the biggest news about that is that um, it was the biggest uh, tournament for a TCG that's ever been held. Is it world being record. streamed? Doubt is it going on right now on the OCG's on the OCG YouTube? Let's Continue. Uh, if it so is, yeah, they we'll watch it. They set the Guinness World Record uh, by having eight thousand right, take participants. <laughs> Uh, the most annoying thing about that is that it's best of one single elim. It's, so yeah, you either want to l- lose immediately or never lose. It's technically not single elim, but there is not enough spots for top cut for it to not be single elim. Yeah, because it, it'd still be, what, 64 top cut or like 132 top cut? 128. Or 128, that's the number. It's one or the other uh, and what? So it's one or the other 13 rounds. And I think that leaves at like a hundred and something undefeateds. Yeah, so the second you lose, you just leave. Yeah. But the you want to. starts in 20 hours. So they're just streaming the final. Must be. Fuck's sake. Yeah. It's such an OCG thing. It really is. Uh, but for We're those. We're having that... this huge event, guys. You can watch the winner. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, but for the winners and those at top, there are some cool prizes. Uh, so. Wait. What? Why is the final on Monday? Oh, it's Golden Week. Yeah. Public holiday. Oh, sure. They're 4th of July. But right. But we have less fireworks and more standing in huge crowds. They're yeah, more <laughs> lining up for things. Uh, so, uh, for prizes, uh, there is a Gandora uh, Dragon to Destruction stainless steel card available. The card that won the first YCS. Or is, oh, no, that's the shit Gandora. Yeah, yeah. That's, a, that's a bad one. Okay. It's not Gandora, it's the Dragon of Demolition. Nah. That one. Uh, for the top 64, they get a new mat, uh, so, so which is... What is top that? So, you have to zoom in, but it's the tablet. Cool! He said, so, so offended. Japanese YCS. Wait, how does this top, top cut gets that? Uh, top 64. <laughs> so it's top 64 of 8,000 players. I wonder if those 8,000 players were, are, as dignant, are as indignant about not getting a mat on entry as we were. They get mats on entry. 8,000 mats! They would get mats, they just don't get, they get that They mat. get a kit on entry. Yeah, they... 8,000 kits? It's a play mat, sleeves to match the play mat, and uh, field center. Yeah, because that's where my Ignista thing came from, yes. right? But yeah. If the Ignista thing that I thought came with everything, but it was just the play mat. <laughs> if the OCG has the capabilities to print this, like, to print that amount of product, can we not rely on them for TCG stuff? Well, I suppose the thing is it would be printed and produced in Japan, yeah. whereas when they're doing it in the TCG, there's like 17 different regions. But couldn't couldn't TCG go, all right, well, we're not going to make this. Hey, can you cover the these mats and stuff? And then just get them to do it. If they can do 8,000, they can then we just get OCG mats and just go, oh, yeah, just make it bl- as blank as possible. I suppose the other thing is too, like for their YCSs, do they always have to do a lottery or is it sometimes just get in there? In this instance, it had to have been just get in there. Unless it's an 8,000 person lottery. Okay, because this, this is the other thing I was considering. If it is a case of, like, they just opened it up and they were overwhelmed with how many people actually turned up, they, they might not have 8,000 mats to give out. Probably not, no. No, I... If, if all 8,000 people are getting kits and not, like, oh, for other people that won the lottery get it and then the people who turn up on the day don't... To be fair, it's, it's a Japanese-run event. They will probably just be like, we are so sorry that we didn't have enough kits. We will post one to you. Yeah. That if it was run by Konami USA or Konami Europe, it'd be like, I'm so sorry, <laughs> you didn't have enough playmats. Go fuck yourself. Sorry, we bent the we bent your giant card. <laughs> See you next year, kid. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
surely he has to get there's no way he's getting it before next year next one oh, it's gonna take ages oh maybe by nats Correct. Oh, Imagine that they like broadcast that they've got these three new prize cards, and then like they he just pipes up and goes, "I still have got mine from last year." Like, oh, that's there you go. That's <laughs> gonna happen because I'm almost certain they were like, "Ah, oh, don't worry," because they're like, "Oh, no, just send us an email. Send us an email. It's fine. We'll get it sorted." Fucking idiot. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Off like, we go. Oh, thank you very much for this email. It was empty. It's fine. Yeah, but there was coloured liquid in there and it's gonna stay. It wasn't coloured liquid, it was water. Oh. You fucking windy bitch. Water's coloured. You're just colourblind, so you can't see it. <laughs> it's not red or green, it's so blue. no. I'm not blue colourblind. What colour is that? How would you know? That? Yeah. Blue. No, it's oh, not. Purple. I was pointing at the dark logo in the top corner. Ah, mmm, yes. Got him. <laughs> Checkmate libs. Outsource to OCG printing, please. The other thing that I'm curious about is what drove such mass numbers to this YCS? Um, it's the 10th YCS. So there was obviously specialty pricing involved? Is it just like a particularly interesting it's format eight. with fire dragons being able to kill everyone in one turn? It's Golden Week, so there's a start. Um, literally everyone has the day off work. Uh, so like, maybe it is a time thing. So yeah, they've always had this player base, it's just they've been working too hard. Yep. Yeah, yeah. yeah so you, could, you literally can't play on Saturday like, the time. Doing stuff in Japan this week is fucked. Like, yeah. everyone has work off. Yeah. Apart from people that work in food services and retail. Ugh. And it's hot. <laughs> and it's, it's kind of hot. It's yeah. so hot. It's, yeah, pretty fucked. I know it's hot as August, though. That was fucked. <laughs> it's not it's not as fucked as actually this summer was pretty good for us here yeah this summer was actually quite cold after spending 38 degree day at universal studios and don't uh, don't don't cool. go to the theme parks on golden week yeah dear god don't go to the theme park on golden week yep instead go to don quixote i missed a crowning event of an emperor well what other lifetimes can i do that in Moving on, uh, we move to questions. If you weren't aware, we do have a Ooh. Discord. Link will be in the description below. Feel free to jump in, say hi, and ask us questions. Our first question this week comes to us. Um, just double checking which one's actually the first question. Uh, I think it's I'm this. the first question. Uh, right guy. Uh, so, what do you think oh, it would yeah. take to get Konami to release an emergency ban list, not just for this format, but in general? Uh, first off, it would take them to release all the cards they want to ban in common. Uh, that's a very key start thing, because uh, it seems to be the only time that happens. Um, so, just pause on that. Yep. So, being that Tempai is so cheap, yes. like supers or lower, yes. and they clearly have no interest in reprinting yes. Trident Dragion in order to make money off it, Certainly. do you think that if it performs well enough in upcoming yes. OCG... Uh, the OCG YCS's, yes. it could be a candidate for an emergency ban. Yes, band. certainly. Certainly. I st It'll still be good without it. Pydra to one. Oh, you think? Oh, I thought they'd ban the Dragion. Oh, no, no. It wouldn't be Wait, oh, which wouldn't do anything because yeah. it's still right. But at the same... Like, fucking Pydra or Fire 1 to 1. They'd probably limit the Fire 1 just to be like, ah, fuck you, 1 to <laughs> uh, I'm not. In, I'm not entirely convinced they won't reprint it. I just think Jerome's trolling. That would be so fucking funny. Because we get Rarity Collection yeah. next it's month. There's 0% chance in the Rarity Collection. Yeah, I'd... You don't reckon? 0% chance. If anything, there's Battle Legend. Well, yeah. that, when they first... When we first had the panic about Dragons of Legend being delayed, that's what I thought it might have been, that they needed to change the print run to add Dragion into it. Nah. But... They would never do that. I'm still. Not, I, I'm. I'm not. I'm not convinced. I'm sh like. I, I. I'm skeptical, like you. I'm not convinced. There's not. But I just. It has to be. I reckon we won't get a reprint until like September, October. OTS twenty seven super. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. This is an ulti again. Oh Christ! Can you imagine wasting if... an ulti slot on a deck that theoretically might already be torn to pieces? Yeah. It. Yeah. But I, I believe, to answer the question, uh, it requires 
for a 29 out of 32 top cut, and the cards they want to limit to be commons. Or the cards they want to ban to be commons. There's my answer. Because what emergency ban lists have we had? We obviously had Pepe. We had Spiral. Spiral. Cyberstein. Cyberstein. Although, Cyberstein wasn't in cheap, retrospect, was it? that's stupid. Because yeah. uh, was it still a prize card? Well, no, it was, reprinted, it was reprinted as the rare, and then they yeah. realised what they had done. They reprinted uh, it. It was still around for like seven months, and they could, no one played it. And then they released the ban list, and then someone was like, Oh, this is, this is insane. Yeah. I'm playing this. Oh, I won the event. Easily? So was it cool? Awesome. Was it live pre ban list, or was it yeah, something coming it been, back? It had been around for six months, and they banned other stuff. Oh, so, so it's just made the people like, go yeah. like, "Oh, what am I going to play? Oh, this is insane." Okay, and then oh, that Storm of Ragnarok ban list always felt a little bit early, where they hit the samurai stuff the few days after its release. It was like a prop. It, it was when we were expecting a ban list. But it felt very also, like a... Do you count an emergency ban list as, like, when they printed fucking Stratos? Yeah. They released Stratos and were like, by the way, guys, Stratos is going to be banned. It's going to be limited when we release it. <laughs> oh, we sent it to you in the mail two months early? Fuck, 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 <laughs> fuck, fuck. <laughs> um, but yeah, I think that's mainly it. Like, something that's not going to hurt their... Sale prices and future reprints. You still to be reprints. able to sell the set that's been released. Yeah. So like, anytime, so, I think into the future, anytime they're going to release an emergency ban list, they know what they are going to ban before they even print the fucking set. Mm. I think the, the the Pepe lesson has to like they have to have learnt it. Like, like that was that was a desire. Like it was terrible. It, it was a, so stupid. As much as I probably think this isn't going to happen, if they give us Jelly Hand Trappy as a common. Watch that oh fucking my hand god! It's gonna imagine, get banned. imagine jelly hand trappy common. Like the secret would be there to sell the set. Yeah. Yes, but like, if they're so against Maxi that they're like, fucking discard, fuck that. Imagine they e ban it before we yeah. even get it. Have a common. Next ban, goodbye. Have a good time. See you later. That'd be so eight. Um, next question comes to us again from Raigai. Would you consider popular Yu-Gi-Oh tubers a positive, neutral, or negative influence on competitive Yu-Gi-Oh? It depends. Um, Some are good. I, Some are great. Yeah, there, it, there is such... Well, nowadays, there is such a wild diversity in what yu gi tubers are and do. Like, the big reason that I don't do as many deck profiles as the player used to do is because I'm just like, I'd rather now just only focus on things that are, like, very competitive. Um... I just think there's better content out there for stuff like that. But yeah, like, usually, most decks have a person in that lane that is entertaining ideas. Yeah. And so I was like, oh, I, I can bring, I can upload a profile, but I'm not going to... Mm. I think people like Kira Twig and Dark Arm Duelist are really fucking shit for the game. <laughs> like, in terms of pushing the game forward, they are fucking horrible. Like, those people are like, every format, I'm going to upload a bunch of deck profiles, they are just... Everything that I can fit in the deck that is pure in the deck, plus like one gimmick. There's no hand traps in here. If you take this to a locals, you will come last. Yeah, that the culture of pushing out as much content as possible to like feed the algorithm, even when it's not good content, is detrimental. Hey, yeah, we've been there. Like part of the reason why I would push out a bunch of those deck profiles is because I was also at the time playing in two separate locals, and one of them was fucking horrendous in terms of like competition. So I could play it. anything and win. So like, it was a case of like, oh, I'm going to play, what was that? a random example? Um, I'm going to play Exitons. Oh, Evil Swarm. Evil, that's it, Evil Swarm. I'm just going to put in 12 hand traps in an Evil Swarm deck and I will win. Like, there is no debating this. Um, <laughs> what happens when you lose one locals in the course of a year? So yeah, um, and then there are good ones like Jesse Cotton and stuff who like have a... I'm sceptical on Cotton. Like with, uh, he hasn't done it as much, other competitive players do, where they only release what they want you to know because... Yes. Yeah, that is a concern with people that are they... actively playing the game at a competitive level and a highly competitive level and are also making content. You do they... have that thought yeah. process. They intentionally release the information late. Yeah. Definitely. Like, it's either, release, yeah. Pack's huge for that, where he will intentionally put content out 
two God. weeks after it was like the in thing. Don't get me started um, on that motherfucker. But yeah, yeah, it's um, and all they will focus on something, drive up, like try and like it's it can get a bit iffy. Uh, and also his editing's whack. Not that our editing is fantastic. I hate default transitions. <laughs> I don't want to pay for no fancy transitions. Oh, Default like transmissions all the way. Yeah, Hard zoom, start those, podcast. <laughs> those, Literally no transition at the end. Those scene packs is just everyone's a bloody editor now. And yeah. it's, yeah. Look, Except for the number taste. one editing in the world coming from, I forgot their name, Team Sorceress. The greatest competitive YouTube shaping channel in the world. But the first shout out. Yep. And the and last. The last. <laughs> uh, I don't know, man. You can go and watch their What If, No Pendulum, No Exist, No Fusion, No Synchro, No uh, whatever the other thing was, Links. None of that. Uh, where he hit? farts five seconds in and goes, Sorry about that. Yes, perfect editing. And uh, the, the great thing of, Oh, no. Uh, so, what if there were no synchros? Well, there would be no synchros. <laughs> what if there was. Exactly. No- that's verbatim. Like. <laughs> I think there, it was also a part of like oh I think it was for no links. He was like, "Oh, and if there was no links, then we wouldn't have got Master Rule Four. Which I wasn't sure if he was addressing them all as individual ones. So like, yes, we got no synchros, but we still got the rest. So you just have tuners with nothing to tune into. Is that yeah. the idea of it? Yeah. Do the no synchro, no pendulum, no stuff? Do they have no fusion in them sometimes? Or do they always... It's been so long since I've observed them, to be honest. Like... I haven't... I don't think I've opened a not mastered all dueling platform. Yeah, true. He hasn't dueled with friends in so long. I haven't opened one of those platforms since I had COVID, which was t- almost two years ago. Ooh. Happy anniversary. Yeah. How them lungs feeling, yeah. <laughs> yeah, going great. That cough of yours is gone. Yeah, finally Oh, went. that ridiculous cough you had for Three like and a half, half your life. Yeah. Podcast yeah. listeners would know. Yeah. Then if you would have yeah. heard my sultry tones of my voice stop having a cough in them. You mean, I had that cough since the middle of December. Yeah, and I told you to see a doctor repeatedly. I did go to a doctor. Oh, the, yeah. doctor the doctor checked my lungs and went, ah, it'll be fine. <laughs> it'll pass eventually. See, that's why you don't go to doctors. Yeah. I paid money for that advice. Yeah. Yeah, the fact that you have to pay for doctors now, it actually annoys me. But that's yeah, a whole fuck enough... you, Americans. <laughs> you gave us the idea. And now our doctors are like, you mean I can bill you for this? I'm a bill you for this. Yeah, we're bulk billing. Yeah, uh, I don't know how the bu- the bottom line of the the budget became such an important winning strategy, as opposed to you know letting us live. Yeah, there's also like. But the less of us live, the less they have to spend on us. Yeah. There was the purge, and the more people that will sell their cars. Hmm. <laughs> Anyway, uh, next question comes to us. I have a question. Question from Ben. You get really, really sick. Come how much just... of your cards do you sell? I'm really sick. Like, how sick? Oh. You're gonna die. Oh, I'm not selling shit. No, I'm dying. If I'm gonna die, why would I sell anything? I'm buried. I'm getting buried in my gut. Put the money towards well, more, the care that doesn't matter? I don't know. Throw I... more money. I would... Starlights, quartzies, statues... For the record, I have two goat decks in my box. I want one cremated with me, and the other one someone can keep. Thank Whenever you. Whenever we have a goat format tournament, we'll sit on a shelf overlooking everyone. Okay. Anyway, question from 6 r 6 That's my question for the Discord, by the way. Give me your answer. How much of your stuff would you sell? I would sell enough to pay for like a really nice holiday, and I would, but I would keep uh, one yeah. deck as like my... I'm playing this deck until I literally die. <laughs> well, maybe that's a better question. Jake, a question. If you were terminally ill, what deck would you pick out to be this is my ride it and die deck? It's definitely not Dragon Man anymore. No. I played that the other day and I was like, fuck this. I forgot to mention this on the pod, but um, a couple days before we went into that pod where you said you'd never play Dragon Maid again it was terrible I'd listened to a near verbatim podcast a year prior where it's like oh the ban list was about to come in and I decided to pick up Dragon Maze. Dragon Maze is great <laughs> <laughs> yeah 
the worst part was like people were commenting on the Dragon Maid video being like, oh, new Dragon Maid profile, I've been waiting for this. And I'm like, I was so crushed by the end of this tournament, I didn't want to do a profile. <laughs> Uh, in the other in Dragon Maids or other Dragon decks, could you not just put in one of each of the little Tempires as a OTK push? Push. Yeah, no. <laughs> you can also summon Kitchen from deck. The issue is that it doesn't start at the summon at the start of battle phase, yeah. so you can't take it out. <laughs> Damn, battle phase dragons hate each other. Yep. It would be sick if you competing could... for space. You can just push more damage. You can Kitchen add the. F- Tinek, discard another Dragon Maid, and then discard the Tinek to boost one of you guys by 2,000. Damn, Dragon Maid combos? We've re- reinvigorated him. Um, um, you going to play Invoked? No. No, I don't think I would. Um, what would I play? I don't want to say it, but I think it might be branded. Because the TCG seem to be in love with it, and they never want to get rid of anything. Greg's going to play Scraps. Oh, I just wanted to say anything, man. Uh, <laughs> no, it depends. At the moment, I'll do scraps because you actually have a win condition. Like it can go straight, it can go into the f- f- banshee other other stuff. But I reckon there's going to be a time where I will not have access to those cards. So therefore, yeah, something relinquished that's nice later. Relinquished fusion. Woo! <laughs> so uh, we finally Tell get on below to. What you would pick. Yes. Tell us what you would sell and what deck you keep. The deck you take to your grave, literally. Uh, next question comes to us from 6i6. Uh, what is your best rental hack? Uh, his is uh, putting our foil underneath the gas cooktop um, so that the dripping stuff doesn't go onto the actual cooktop. <laughs> Not going to lie, I, I have seen that in properties and it is disgusting to look at, but I understand the theory. My mom was stupid enough to... <laughs> Got- how dare you? So she read that hack and was like, I'm going to do it. And put the foil on the element at the bottom of the oven. Ah. <laughs> and then a foil melted on the, on it and the oven just Oh, I think you've told me this. Never yeah, worked yeah, yeah. properly ever again. And it was on literally the first use of the oven. Ah, that feels so bad because she went out of her way to be like, oh, I've got this brand new oven. I want to keep it clean. I want to keep it protected. <laughs> so embarrassing. God damn. You guys finally got a new oven after 15 years of living in this property and you wrecked it on the first use. Shit happens, as they say. Um, my rental hack is that when you first move into your rental property, take uh, many, 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 many photos of the condition before you send in your condition report. Um, it's a thing here in Australia. I'm assuming there's some level of it for other things, but basically... In Australia, they ask you to note the condition and basically agree or disagree with how they see it. Uh, I had a lot of disagreements with how my property was given to me when I decided to rent it. So I took, I think, like 130 photos of the condition of the property. So they won't be coming back to me with anything when I leave. Not a thing. My rental Do you mind hack cleaning is this? To, no! My rental hack is to lean your giant cards up against the wall instead of hanging them. Oh, that is one thing that may come back to me. Uh, We've tried hanging um, with like the little, um, like the stick and the sticky things. They've all fallen off. Mine's still held on. I thought mine. Well, I did put like three on because I really didn't. I think we did one or two, and even then, like I think it was like late at night. We just heard a random crash from the lounge room. We're like, "What the Hmm. fuck was that?" And then we're like, "Where'd that painting go?" (laughs) In my room, I've got the uh, Walls Day price cards. Oh, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. The framed on my wall, and yeah. I was like, I do not want this frame falling. Yeah, yeah. Well, Stick that was the benefit of ours, is that, like, there was... Uh, I think one of them had glass in it for the actual thing, and then I think the other one was, like, some cheap-ass thing that I bought from, like, came out, so it didn't matter what happened to that. Craig, what's your rental hack? Change roommates every three years. <laughs> <laughs> I hope not. We're far enough into the podcast to say, just get rid of the cat. <laughs> Oh like, my god! I don't yes. know why that that area smells like cat piss. Oh, we definitely don't have a cat in this apartment. Sorry, no, it's human. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be fine if, the, like, you could open a door. But my god. Uh, anyway, uh, yeah. Look, in 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 our defence, the previous the previous tenants had a cat, and that area did smell like cat piss. 
So I will, I didn't lie. It shouldn't smell like cat piss after a few years. <laughs> don't know, but yeah. What do you do? Uh, you do? Yeah, I don't know. Rental hacks, rental hacks. Just roll with the punches, I guess. Yeah, and the photos. <laughs> Be prepared to fix things yourself because when you message them to say, hey, fix this, they will not respond. I don't know. I feel like you've just gotten bad managers. Like, we've literally never had a issue with any repairs needing to be done like they fixed our tap the next day and it wasn't even like an urgent repair it was yeah i think it just got the raw end of the deal my window latch has been broken for three months now oh, what's through all of those window? storms i had to like literally constantly wake up through the night and be like and shut my window again wipe the water up and shut my window again wipe the water up again i just feel like you got the raw end of the stick. We we got the email again, I guess. I emailed the two be weeks ignored. ago. He's yeah. like, hey, I messaged you two months ago to say, hey, can you fix this? Can you fix this? No response. And email again. And then email again. But yeah. Uh, next question is again from 6 out 6 What is your go-to swimming stroke slash style? Well, freestyle. Just not butterfly. I'm great at all of them other than butterfly. Butterfly. Butterfly is really hard. Yeah. By like like, half it feels like a waste of effort. Yeah, I don't know who came up with that and like, yes, this is an effective way to swim. They should be shot. Like, I was a very good swimmer in high school, so I would always come first or second in every event. So I'd always qualify for the next region. Mm-hmm. And I'd always <laughs> drop butterfly. When I got yeah. to regionals, I was like, I'm just doing those other three and I'm not doing that. Yeah. Uh, personally, I'm a breast man. Um, <laughs> I can't tell you how long I've been sitting on that joke. <laughs> Um, I just, yeah, and I generally go, like, under the water. So I do, like, effectively turtle. He's like a duck. Turtle. Well, I thought you was like the last dipping. time I went underwater in a pool. Because, like, nowadays I'm, like, because of the whole skin condition, like, the chlorine, like, fucks my face. Just fucks so, your face? Does a sea pool count? No, because it's, it's not chlorine. Yeah. It's the chlorine that fucks me up. So, like, if I submerge my face... Um, all my skin dies. Big ghoul Ben. But, but I have seen a doctor. They were like, you're going to die. And I was like, okay. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Um, well, you just get all drugged up, get a dog, wander the wasteland. Get yourself like a full scuba mask. It won't look weird. It'll be fine. <laughs> in the hotel pool in full scuba gear. <laughs> Cleaner lady walks by. Imagine that. You've got like kids playing with like an inflatable thing and then you just go... <laughs> 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 Get the sound off. <laughs> and uh, lady just walks in with the soda to try and find where I am when I'm hiding at night. <laughs> no backstroke fans. I don't, I don't, that was my best it. event. Yeah, I used to be alright. Like, if I had to rank them lowest to highest, it goes like breast, no, sorry, butterfly, back, free breast. Free breast! (laughs) Woo! (laughs) (laughs) Um, Alright, Edwin asks, how is your day under week going? Uh, It's nearly over, so it's great, but then Monday starts and it all happens again. Jake didn't work this Saturday. I didn't. I did uh, literally nothing with my day and it was great. I went car shopping. And then I came home from car shopping and I was like, oh, Jake, you're still asleep on my floor. Mm. Oh. I had a lovely sleep in. I would have invited you car shopping if I had known you didn't have work. <laughs> oh, yeah, I thought you were already nicked off. I... Yeah. Nah, I, I was on the lounge room, well, not on the lounge room floor. There was a thing for me to sleep on. Um, but I was here until like 9.30? Yeah, because I, I heard the door go earlier. So that must have been when, yeah, yeah, when you were going. I, thought, oh, yeah. I wasn't work. like in a super oh. rush to leave either because I've been drinking the night before and it's double demerit. So I was like, I maybe just chill for a little bit. I was going to get a coffee, but then I didn't want to have to pay for one. Then I had coffee at home. Um, as I was driving home on Spring Hill Road, there was an RVT, but it stopped just before me. So I was like, I you had that. that like, like I didn't drink nearly enough to have any issues with it. You had like four. 0.8 standard drink drinks. I had another couple of the fruit juice uh, and wotsies. Um, anyway, um, but yeah, next week's about to start, so it'll be eh, but yeah. Uh, and then the last question is from Rye Guy. Uh, what are some of the worst cases of shore printing you've seen? Star Strike Blast. <laughs> Just the set as a whole? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, oh, God. 
he highlights that Pydra's short printing is pretty bad. Again, it's not short yeah, printed, not guys. Short. Yeah, I don't it's think not it's short printed. Short printed. There's been boxes with five. There's been boxes with one. Supers, you just only are supposed to get yeah. barely one of each super in a box. Yeah. So like the moment you get a double, you will just won't get a Pydra. Yeah. The more packs that get open, the more the more supers will stack up. Whether or not the people that get them will their price gouge for them, we don't know. But I I do not think that this is short printed. The most egregious short printing I have ever been like the victim of. I bought 10 boxes of the set with Sky Striker. Oh, yeah. And I got one engage. Yep. Yeah, the mobilizing gauge like, uh, thing fuck. was a bit ridiculous. Right, I, um, I should I could have bought the deck. Golden Lord felt really hard to pull in its time. Yeah, yeah, because it was, yeah, it was the short printing of that was, was weird. It was Golden was Lord. That researcher and. Uh, Flurry? Yes. I think so. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Back in the day when they used to one, short print one of each secret for the cards. Yeah, back when each of the archetypes had equal love and therefore hate. Whereas yeah. now it's just like, we really like this one archetype in this side set. The rest of them, they may as well not exist. Well, in the cross, they short printed um, the other one as well. Valk wasn't, but the other one was. No, no, no Trish wasn't, Valk was. I found it so strange in the Dragon Maid set, they were like, ah, oh, we've short printed Kitchen. It's like, Ah, the best one is a super. Yeah. Sick. Awesome, thank you. <laughs> they just didn't understand. I think they literally just looked at it and been like, uh, they're all women, um, that one. Yeah. Uh, but that does conclude us for this week. The thank poll. You. Oh, yes, the poll. Favourite ban list hit between Link, Kariba, Baron de Fleur, Barrel, Rolo, Savage, and Summon Limits. Uh, a three-way tie. A third of people said Baron de Fleur, a third of people said Summon Limit, a third of people said I hate this list. There. I understand it. It needs to do more. But Should we'll see point. that in the next couple of min months? Minutes? Minutes? September. <laughs> no, 4th of July. Uh, but thank you all very much for listening and watching. If you are watching along, feel free to like and subscribe. If you're listening, feel free to favourite. Jump into our Discord, ask us some questions, uh, and we'll catch you all next week. Peace. Thank you.